Let's walk through the Java 25 migration recipe. This recipe automates the most common changes needed when moving to Java 25. So here we have a sample Maven project that shows many of the features that the recipe migrates for you. And we can see it's using Java 21 specified here in the POM file. And this will compile OK, but you'll notice that we already have several deprecation warnings, some errors about certain things being marked for removal. And these go back even to Java 17 in some cases. And that means they're quickly becoming more than just suggestions because many of the features are degraded or removed in Java 25. In fact, if we change 21 to 25 here in the POM file, we'll notice that we get even more warnings and errors. So we wanna take care of that. We also have several examples in this file of patterns that in Java 25 have a preferred syntax or some new updated library that is suggested to be used. So we wanna fix that as well. So let's change this back to 21 so we can let the recipe do the work for us. We will use the modern CLI to run the upgrade to Java 25 recipe. And this is gonna run through those transformations and then we'll take a look at what changed. So the, it's done with the transformations, but we still need to apply them in order to take a look at them here in the IDE. So we will run the mod git apply command, and that will let us take a look here at the diffs. So you can see the files that changed. Obviously, as we expected, the POM file changed Java 21 to Java 25. And if there were any other dependencies listed here that might have required an upgrade, those would also have been changed. In the application code, we can see what we expect, the public static void main method is now using the new instance main method format. We've converted our system.out.prints to use modern Java 25 compatible IO utility. Process.wait for is expecting a duration argument instead of the timeout and unit arguments. And we've replaced the string reader constructor with the reader of, and we're passing in a character sequence. Also in Java 25, we wanna swap out inflator.end for inflator.close. We wanna use zip exception instead of the deprecated zip error. And we're also following the recommended approach of using underscore for unused variables. And then finally here, we're removing the deprecated calls to set policy to check read. And then we're setting our security manager to null to signify its removal. And there's one other change up here that I kind of skipped over at first, but this is using the runtime execution method and it's changing the string argument to split it into a string array. And this comes from the Java 21 upgrade recipe, which shows you that the Java 25 upgrade recipe actually includes the steps to upgrade to Java 21 as well. And it, that includes the steps to upgrade to Java 17 and so on and so forth. So each change is specifically targeted and deterministic so you know exactly what has been replaced and why. So now you can commit your code and you're ready for Java 25. With this example, we've upgraded a single repository, but the modern CLI supports running across multiple repositories as well. You can also run this recipe at scale in the modern platform. Here we see the migrate to Java 25 recipe. If we add it to the recipe builder, we can take a closer look at the steps that it follows. And we see those previous version upgrades I mentioned earlier for Java 21, Java 17, and so on. If there are any specific steps we want to remove from this recipe, we can customize that here as well. Once we're ready, we can run it across all of the selected repositories in our organization. When it's done, we can preview the proposed changes before issuing commits or opening pull requests. With Modern, you can migrate changes safely, automatically, and at scale. To learn more, check out our documentation.